Are you worried about the customers who won't go with you on that two year journey or into year three, four or five? And they go, you know what, this isn't for me. Yeah. You know what? There, there's going to be some resistance on the part of some customers, but what I tell sure. people and what I've, I've told dealers as well, because some dealers are also looking at it saying, Tim, I see the customers that I'm selling electrified products to today, you know, with the four by E Wrangler and with the PHEV minivan is that I see the percentage of people that are coming in asking for this. And I'm, I'm worried that you guys are ahead of your headlights. And I said, don't worry about that. And the reason is, forget about what people are saying, forget about the marketing, forget about all of that stuff. If you look at the future product development cycle, there's take every manufacturer, there's a half a trillion dollars, $526 billion, half a trillion dollars in product investment in electrification. In other words, the pipeline is coming. I mean, this oh, yeah. thing is packed with EVs. Massive. And, right. it, and the market is just going to be spewed with these things. There is going to be so many choices. And you can't spend a half a billion dollars to make this one look different than this one. And this one have a different feature than that one. So within that half a trillion dollars is things that people haven't thought about yet. Like some of the cool stuff that we put on our muscle car, you know, people didn't see it coming. Okay. So we have three patents on our car. That's just Dodge. Think about all the other brands. How many cool things are they working on that nobody knows about yet? So at some point, this stuff's all going to hit the market and people are going to go, man, okay. I still got some reservations, but there's some really cool stuff here that's compelling me. I got to look at this. Hmm. Same thing so, happened with UVs, by the way. You remember what happened with UVs? Everyone drove a car. And now today, yep. you sell four UVs and trucks for every car. car. Cars just went away. People don't want cars anymore. But it happened really slow. It was like, oh, what, a UV, a UV, a UV. And then all of a sudden, it was like a light switch. Bam, cars are dead. Well, I remember, Tim, when people didn't even know what SUV stood for. Yep. And in fact, some called it SAVs, if you remember that, because yep. they were an activity vehicle. It was a yep. utility vehicle. And then somehow we morphed to the SUV. 